This is Seven National News and in our top story, President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan welcomed Her Majesty Queen Beatrix Wilhelmina Armgard of the Netherlands to the Mushrif Palace on Sunday. The President stated that the UAE is keen on drawing lessons from the Dutch successful development model through the transfer of knowledge in areas of technology and industry by establishing joint investment ventures. The President expressed hope that the visit will deliver a new qualitative jump in bilateral relations, energise joint economic and investment partnerships and usher it into new sectors. During Queen Beatrix's visit, Her Majesty has visited the library of the Zayed Grand Mosque, the tomb of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, the higher colleges of technology for boys in the capital, as well as the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. Today, Dubai realized yet another dream that will play a significant role in its future growth. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, launched today the Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park. According to officials of the Supreme Energy Council and the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority, the 12 billion dirham project will harness and optimize solar energy as a part of the Emirates' continuous efforts towards conserving energy and diversifying its economy. Senior officials added that it is expected that the project will be in operation and have a production capacity of 10 megawatts by the fourth quarter of 2013. According to them, this is another step towards a sustainable future through renewable energy sources that will also see energy prices decrease for consumers. This is a part of Dubai strategic initiative. And also, uh, this uh, strategy uh, will intend to reduce the CO2 and definitely uh, the emission uh, will be less. And uh, uh, as we say that by the end of 2030, that will have 5% of the total installed capacity uh, of power. It's a unique project in terms of having everything within this boundary. So we're going to have a different technology. We're going to have the photovoltaic, the CSP. We're going to have um, um, the premises which supporting to it. Gonna be, there will be academy there. There's going to be R&D, administration, accommodation. So that area is going to be like fully an area that have a renewable resources with its uh, talented and specialists working with it. So, um, our commitment today is 1% by 2020 and 5% by 2030. But today, the first step, the cornerstone that we're building today is will be the 10 megawatt project, which is we expect to have that one uh, connected to the grid in the fourth quarter of 2013. <laughs> His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the UAE Vice President and Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, has ordered the allocation of 206 houses for Emiratis in Dubai, worth around 242 million dirhams, as well as approving 78 million dirhams worth of housing loans for 105 Emiratis. Meanwhile, the ruler has also issued a law on the International City for Humanitarian Services, which is a public institution to promote Dubai as a hub for emergency humanitarian aid. The city will provide infrastructure for basic logistics facilities for humanitarian institutions, as well as provide rapid and effective response to disasters and emergencies, as well as relief efforts to those in need at an international level. The first article of law number one for the year 2012 sets the rules and regulations necessary for humanitarian services and commercial activities, the licensing of institutions, humanitarian services and businesses in the city and identification. The UAE has been ranked 30th among 187 countries in the World Human Development Report for 2011 and has topped the Arab countries on the list released by the United Nations. At a ceremony at the UAE Center for Strategic Research and Studies in Abu Dhabi to launch the Human Development Report 2011, officials stated that the report has focused on sustainable development and human equality, the two points that reflect the interest of the government all over the world 
for achieving the highest rates of sustainable development according to equitable rights and responsibilities. Norway, Australia, the Netherlands, the USA, New Zealand, Canada, Ireland, Liechtenstein, Germany and Sweden came in the first 10 places in the index. And finally this evening, Global Village has achieved a new record by hosting 2 million visitors since its opening on the 1st of November to the end of December of 2011. According to a press statement, this is the highest number of visitors that Global Village has attracted more than any entertainment project in the region, with over 200,000 visitors on some weekends. The record has been added to Global Village's best achievements since its inception 16 years ago. Furthermore, entertainment and art performances brought from around the world are witnessing high turnouts from all visitors. Additionally, the various products offered by more than 29 pavilions, including 45 countries from around the world, continue to attract visitors. The world's doors will be open until the 3rd of March. And up next, we have the day's business news, so stay with us.